This tutorial is going to show you how to do the woven wheel stitch. This stitch is used mostly to create flowers. They kind of look like roses. So to do the woven wheel stitch, you're going to need to start by, um, I like to draw it on there. You can also just freehand it with the thread and needle. But you're going to need to draw an odd number of spokes on a flower. It kind of looks like the spokes of a, like a wheel. So I usually start with five if it's a small flower. If I want to do a big flower, then I'll use seven or nine, depending on how big it's going to be. But this is pretty small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at one end of the spoke, and I'm just going to put thread over all of the spokes. So I'll just work from the outside in. So each time I'll pull the needle down through the middle, meeting up with um, all the spokes. So once you've got all of your spokes stitched, you get to create the woven wheel. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your needle up next to one of the stitches that you created right near the center and you're going to pull the needle all the way through. That's basically the last time you'll put the needle in the fabric. What you're going to do now is you're going to weave the needle under and over these spokes. So I'm going to start by going under this spoke and then the thread's going to weave on top of this next one. So I'm going to skip that one and weave under this one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to skip this spoke and I'm going to go over that one and under the next one. And I'm going to go in a circle. So now, last time you can see I went under the spoke, this time I'm going to be going over it and under this one. So it's going to rotate which one's getting, which one's going over and under. And you'll just go around the circle, skipping every other spoke and going under every other spoke. And it helps, you can kind of like, if it's easier, you can turn your hoop um, as you go under. Just whatever angle works best for you. So I like to turn mine a lot. You'll just go all the way around the flower. You'll keep going around and around until you've completely filled out the flower, which means you won't be able to see the spokes anymore. They'll all be hidden, and you'll just be able to see the woven wheel. One other thing is if you pull the thread tight, it will make this flower look thicker. If you keep it really loose, then it will look more flat um, and spread out. So it just depends on whatever look you're going for. I tend to keep them flat so I don't pull too tight. Once you're done with the rows, once you're done with that woven wheel going all the way around and you can't really see the spokes anymore, to finish it off you just insert the needle into the fabric, don't pull too tight, and then you can just tie it off on the back. 